How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dom Guy. In this episode we are going to be taking a look at a couple of remote control builds. I just recently made a video about how to build a remote control, so if you haven't seen that, have a look at it. Have a look-see. So what we're going to be taking a look at here first is, uh, this here is my mobile command center. Now the cool thing about the mobile command center is that it has a attack drone built into it. So we'll walk up to it and hit F inside the vehicle, see the tape wheel, rear wheel steering. It's got a, uh, a little uh, glass casement in the back here. We get number three, it'll open up. And you can see our drone is inside there. Number one activates our gyro stabilizer, of course, on the drone itself. Number two detaches. Now if you detach it properly and it's set up properly, you'll actually see the truck reopen again for the piston to re-engage. So it's detach. And there you go, you see it re-engage, reopens. Now we know we're in control of the drone because everything is quiet. Spacebar, tap, tap, tap. Up comes our drone. Look at that, eh? Now again on the keyboard you have U, H, J, and K as your controls, your WASD controls. Spacebar is for up, L is for down. And your right alt. Four cannons that fire downwards. A uh, little yellow dot in there is on there, so I can tell which way is in front. Again, it's just got some mini thrusters on there. It stays stable. Drift around. Blow stuff up, send it over to defeat the enemy. Now the one cool thing about this is that uh, even if I uh, even if I destroy this van, say if somebody were to shoot me with the cannons, the seat in the bottom of the van where I'm actually sitting is an indestructible seat. So the nice thing is is that even if somebody blows you up, thinking they can stop you. don't understand is that you can't get blown out of your indestructible seat. So you'll always be in control of your drone as long as you stay in your seat. As long as you don't go in the water that is. Well, finish this guy off. So, as you can see, I'm still just lying in the seat. The seat's going to be the only thing left. I'm still in control of my drone. <laughs> still dangerous, man. He's still dangerous. He ain't dead. He ain't dead. Can't kill him. You gotta kill the drone, man. It's like a zombie. You gotta take it off at the head. Do damage to the brain. So that is one example. That is available on the shop. That is the mobile command center with attack drone. Remote control attack drone. All right, so let's take a look at another remote control. A remote control car with a viewing tower. So we'll go up to the seat to the top of the tower. And again with any remote, oh, of course, up in the air. With any of these remote controls, you want to go into build mode first. Drone seat, detach, reattach, build. Number one, I'm going to extend the tower. You can't go into first person or behind the seat cam to get a uh, decent view. This is the orbit, orbit camera, helicopter, behind the seat. And using the arrow keys, you can actually rotate. There's a servo on there in case you want to follow your, your remote control car from there. 
first person as well. For that view. I prefer the orbit cam myself. So once the tower is up with number one, we hit Q. That detaches the car. You'll see the tower re-extend again our pistons. But we already control the car. tower but yeah same thing here second seat on the uh, remote control car XOR gate for the steering XOR gate for the engines for W and S and then make sure that the uh, the seat is the last thing that you connect when you spawn it in and it should work kind of figured this stuff out accidentally. So again, if you uh, haven't seen the video on how to make a remote control, you'll want to check out that link up in the description above here. And uh, any comments or suggestions for any kind of cool remote controls that you'd like to see me try and build, the next thing I'm going to try and build I think is going to be a uh, guided missile of some kind, which should be fun. Uh, maybe like an oversized rocket, obviously, once you put all the components on it and stuff. We're going to take a look at this. It's a twin cannon artillery. This is available on the shop as well. This has three firing modes, actually. It's kind of, kind of a cool rotating platform mode there. Seeing how there's only one servo underneath. The servo is going to be quite floppy. I decided to put some mounts and wheels on it this way. It actually keeps the weight pretty stable. So three firing modes for this puppy. We have our small cannons. Number one. Yes, again. Get the end here. Number two is our barrage, seven gun barrage from the back. And space bar is our main cannons. Handle their own recoil. So we can hit the space bar number one and number two and get this. Yeah, that's available in the shop as well. Have a look, see, that's all kinds of fun. If you just like blowing stuff up, that's what you want to use. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit like, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys next time. Ciao.